there, my name is Jodi G and welcome to my beauty space. In today's video, we're going to go over all the products that I picked up at the Spring Sephora VIB sale. Twice a year Sephora has a sale which is huge because if you're a makeup lover like myself, you already know that makeup hardly ever goes on sale at Sephora. In most cases, I normally shop the fall sale just because in the spring there are just so many new makeup releases that I often find myself like completely forgetting about the sale or not having funds for the sale. So whenever the VIB sale comes along, it's either time to restock on some of your favorite products or even experiment with something new or a combination of both. Without making this intro any longer, let's get into the products that I have in this little goodie bag. And while we're at it, let's take a moment and hit that subscribe button. The first product I picked up was the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. This is just a travel size. It was $14. Um, I picked up this mascara mainly because I was very intrigued about it. It had very polarizing reviews online. Either people like really loved it or they hated it. A lot of people complained that it made their lashes really clumpy and spidery. Some people like it did like a whole like 360 on their lashes. I, I seldom buy high-end mascara unless it comes in a subscription box such as BoxyCharm. So that's why I opted for the travel size just so I could get a feel for the mascara. It does have a plastic wand that is very similar to a lot of the other mascaras that I like. For example, the Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara is one of my favorite high-end ones. I also love the Benefit They're Real, the L'Oreal Telescopic. And I noticed that usually if they have like this little plasticky wand like this, they do wonders for my lashes. I also don't mind a clumpy, spidery lash, so I'm very interested to see like what this can do for my lashes and it says here that it gives you it says here that it gives you volume for over 36 hours 90% of people saw dramatic lash volume 92% said that it lengthened their lashes so I'm very interested in seeing what this can do for my lashes I have pretty full top lashes my bottom lashes they can use a little help I'm not really one for false lashes so I always so I do appreciate a really good mascara so hopefully this will not be a letdown next up from Ole Henriksen Ula Henriksen I don't know so many people say this brand's name so many different ways so I'm probably butchering it if you know how to say it properly Leave a comment down below with how you, with it spelled out phonetically. <laughs> this is the Ole Henriksen C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. The reason why I picked up this product was I was on the market for a new moisturizer. I have normal to dry skin. Uh, usually I get very dry in the cheek area, sometimes a little bit on the forehead. So I'm always looking for a moisturizer that's going to like last a long time, give me like plump skin but something that's also going to sink into my skin fast because I don't have a lot of time when I'm getting ready in the morning I am always late I am always in a rush so I need it to sink in so that we can prime and get on with our morning this is the second product I'm trying from this brand I also have their banana eye brightening cream and I really do like that eye cream a lot uh, dark circles is something that I suffer with so I really do feel like it helps get rid of that as well as, I don't know, I just feel like it helps my concealer rust better underneath my eyes. So because I had such great results with that, I decided I want to try the moisturizer as well. I also saw a lot of posts online comparing this moisturizer to the Tatcha Water Cream. So I'm hoping that this product can deliver similar results, if not the same. It's $44, so it's a little bit cheaper than the Tatcha water creams. So, ah, ah. so this is exactly like what the banana eye cream looks like. It has a very citrusy smell to it. So, I don't know. But I'm interested to see how the ingredients in this compares to the eye cream, especially since they are the same color and they come in pretty much identical jars, except the eye cream is obviously 
smaller. So the next two products I picked up are travel size versions of the Smashbox Primerizer. These were $15 each, so together they were $30. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I decided to pick up two travel size versus the full size one is because I, after looking it up, these little travel size ones carry 0.5 fluid ounces and the full size carries one fluid ounce but it's $42. So two of these equal one of the big ones plus I'm saving $12 so yeah this is what I'm going with and I am always looking for the perfect primer I want something that's gonna deliver moisture but then I do have large pores in this area I don't really like the smash the original Smashbox photo finish primer the silicone based one I feel like it has too much slip to it so I feel like my makeup transfers very easily even if I do set it um, so I'm really interested in seeing how this product works and how it compares to one of my favorite high-end primers which is the Marc Jacobs coconut primer next up is a product that I have not seen like one review or one post on but I decided to pick it up just because just because do you have the time to listen to me review just kidding. <laughs> no one wants to hear me say. This is the Kat Von D and Billy Joe Armstrong eyeliner. Um, if you don't know who Billy Joe Armstrong is, he's from the band Green Day. I was born in 1992, so I am a big Green Day fan. Wake Me Up When September Ends, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, American Idiot, uh, Basket Case, When I Come Around. All songs that I completely love. What? took them so long to come out with a mascara together is beyond me. I was in the market for a black eyeliner mainly because I would like to tight line my upper lash line. I know a lot of people recommend the Marc Jacobs highliners and I did I do have like a small little black one and it is a it is an amazing eyeliner but I wanted to try something different something that I haven't really heard anyone talk about. The color is Insomniac Black and it is a little fat at the point I don't know if you could really see that it is a little fat um, and it says basket case right here so we're gonna swatch that oh my gosh that was so smooth and so black I wonder if I, I, if I could do that right now Okay, so I just lined my lower lash line a little bit, just the outer corners with this, and it glided on so smoothly. It comes with a sharpener right here also, and I'm just interested because I have like watery eye syndrome where like whether I, like if I put on eyeliner on my lash line, it just like... I just start crying for hours and hours and it's always ruined so I'm interested to see how this holds up against watery eye syndrome. <laughs> okay so next up is it is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I've watched a few reviews it's been kind of a miss so I don't know why I really picked it up but I guess I just had to figure it out on my own. The color of it does scare me a little bit. It's a translucent powder, but I'm really used to using something more yellow based, such as like the Ben Eye Banana Powder, the Sasha Buttercup Powder, just, or even something with just like not this color, because like the Too Faced Peaches and Cream Mattifying pa Loose Powder is like the bomb.com. So I got this product. Uh, I like the packaging. I like, oh, keep, oh, keep me close to keep me cool. It has like a little thing. I like that. Um, this pops up. Uh, I guess there's like a little tab thing. There's like a little tab here. Oh, okay. And the powder comes out like that. So there's like a little mesh there. I think they try you know the problem with loose powders is I don't think there's ever perfect packaging for them it's just like what sucks the least 
So I'm really interested in finding out like what this product will do. If you'd like to see a review on this product, please leave a comment down below. <clears throat> ah, we're nearing the end of my bag. Hey, I guess I didn't get as many things as I thought. So <laughs> usually makeup I go through like little phases like oh right now I want to figure out like how to place my highlight in the perfect way. Like perfecting my highlight placement and Perfecting my base are my two beauty goals right now. Like I go through different phases like maybe uh, like a month ago like it was like trying to get like my wings on point a little bit before that it was like trying to perfect a cut crease and things like that. So right now I'm into perfecting my base and my highlighter placement. So with that being said I got the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Skin Essence. So my first essence, so I went with the $68 one, of course. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what a facial essence is, it's something that you're supposed to put on after you cleanse your face to help like all your other skincare products sink in better. So I'm really interested to see, like, do I see a difference with adding an essence into my skincare? It is an extra step, which makes me a little wary, like, will I be committed to it? But for $16.89, even with the 15% coupon, I'm pretty sure I will make myself committed to it. <laughs> I mean, it really does just look like a tea in here. The bottle is a frosted glass, which I really appreciate. You do get a lot of products, so I'm not really sure if... Hold on, it says gently sweep over cleanse face using your fingertips. I'm a full coverage person. I'm full. Medium to full. Medium buildable to full. That's a, This is escalating fast. I'm a medium to full coverage girl, but in the summertime, I think, I think I want to try to like be a little more natural, like my skin but better. I'm wondering like if these products will help bring it to like the next level. Remember how I said I was really into perfecting the base? I didn't really just mean that on a skincare level. I also meant that on like a priming level too. And I picked up Tatcha, the silk canvas. This primer is 52 hours. I just live for Tatcha in their packaging. It's like, look at this, look at this. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. No, I just love Tantra products. I love the packaging. I love the ingredients. I've had a lot of success with them, especially like the rice enzyme powder, the Camila cleansing oil, even the gold spun lip balm, the water cream. I've just had like great, oh, uh, the Violent C Radiance Mask, which is one of my favorite face masks. Like I've had like a, me and Tantra, we like, we like friends, you know, she costs a lot of money. I usually wait for when there's a sale or I could get some like, I don't know, like a, a travel size something for free with it also. I mean, the products are really great. The quality is there and everything, but like, I don't know, I'm just a little cheap, I guess. So this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. The reason why I picked this up is because I want, I was looking for like my, my event primer. You know, like when I want to be extra, when I want to like slay. It comes with like this little, it looks like a guitar pick almost, because you're supposed to use it to just scoop out a rice size amount like the size of a grain of rice to use all over your face and i think that intrigued me about it too because i got a lot of face so is a rice size amount gonna work for me i don't know and is it gonna moisturize is it gonna you know blur out these pores am i gonna look flawless like i'm hoping that this is gonna be my new go-to event primer but I don't know I have a little doubt and I want to and I'm curious to know like how fast am I gonna run through this especially for $52 I mean it looks really cool um, it feels very I mean I'm trying to not really dig into it because I'm not gonna use it right now <laughs> but it does feel very smooth so hopefully it like smooths my face out <laughs> like I want to look face tuned without like using face tune. That's what I'm expecting from this. Last but not least, I picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear 
foundation. This was $48. Picked up the concealer about a month ago and I didn't realize that there was a matching foundation. Um, first of all, I love this packaging. I appreciate the frosted bottle and I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a kind of like a zebra print and it's like the rubberized matte that you kind of are used to with NARS packaging. I got the color 5N1 Pecan. Um, I'm a little sketch about this color, I'm not going to lie. I am confident that I can make it work because I have a history of having to make foundation work. Either because I pick up the wrong shade or my shade's not available. Um, one thing I do have to say about this foundation is it had really great reviews but the shade range on this sucks. This is 5N1. There are about 19 shades available and 5N1 Pecan is like second to last or third to last like so it doesn't get much deeper than this. The numbering system the N in 5N1 denotes that it's a neutral undertone and with the 19 shades that they had available I felt like a lot of the lighter skin tones had a lot of options on whether they were full toned, warm toned, or neutral toned. I just felt like once you got to the end of the color spectrum, it was like, nope, this is the foundation for you. I usually go for something with like a golden tone. I might go for something reddish if I have to, but I don't know. I'm just a little saddened by the lack of diversity in the shade range that if I hope that they come out with more shades just so that more people can try it and people can review it. I didn't really see a lot of people that looked like me reviewing this product and I can only think that, I can only wonder why and attribute it to maybe that Laura Mercier isn't really known for their foundations and maybe it's because the skin, the shade range sucks. A lot of brands are coming out with 40, 30 different shades it's, and like really spacing them out to make sure that everyone is included. It's just like, come on Laura, you gotta do better. <laughs> It's arrived. It's arrived. The one fluid ounce. Oh, also I forgot. Pump. Oh, actually. Okay. okay. It is okay. It's a she she's okay. She's okay. Uh, okay. Um <clears throat> That's the color right there. Um, I'm gonna still stay. It looks a little sketch. It looks a little orange. But you know what? So did my Fenty. And you know what? Fenty be holding it. These are the products I picked up during the Spring Sephora VIB sale. If you're interested in seeing any videos with the products that were featured, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in my next video. Bye.